Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati and in this video, I am going to explain you the use of alerts in Databricks. Okay, so if you go to the, your the right hand, left hand side, uh, uh, you know, pane, okay, so you can see over here, we have like under SQL, we have SQL editor, queries, dashboard, Jenny, alerts, query history and SQL warehouse. So you can see here alerts, what does it mean, you know? So we'll try to understand with with some example, right? So the scenario here is that that uh, you know we have one table called branch. Uh, let's say in the branch layer we have one table. You can assume this sample data table. Now which is uh, uh, you know which is uh, uh, which is which is uh, getting saved, you know, in every five minutes. Okay, what does it mean is that uh, we have we have some uh, pipeline okay we have some pipeline which is running which is running 24 into 7 correct uh, means it's a streaming pipeline and it is being said by the source system or you know by the by the client that we get uh, we get new data in every five minutes you can assume in every five minutes there should be a data in the source in the source okay in the source something like that correct so in the source so uh, we have to check it out or maybe you know in the source or we can say in in the branch there should be there in the branch layer there should be a new data every time right in that case how we can actually create a pipeline okay so we are not using uh, we are not using dlt here okay so we are using uh, normal uh, workflows normal uh, workflows okay so how we can leverage or how or, or maybe not leverage how we can use how we can you know deal with this situation okay. let's go with the flow so what i'm gonna do is that i'm i'm just gonna run this first of all okay once i run this it will save the data into the into this layer okay demo underscore source branch and sample data with a sample data table it will save. and you can see that we have a ingestion underscore time uh, column also which is nothing but a current timestamp so whenever we get the data into, into the branch layer it will it will have a ingestion time with the current timestamp okay let it run first so let me stop so you can see here it is saved and you can see the data frame contains id event user id and ingestion time right uh, so now now what i'm gonna do you can see here we have a queries option here or sql editor so first i will go to the sql editor okay and here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna run this query one query i'm gonna run it so this is the query so here what i'm uh, what i'm trying to do i'm trying to check the count is star zero if it is zero then no inserts else okay i'm putting a new column called status and using the same uh, table and then ingestion time uh, the the column which i have it is i'm checking with the condition greater than is equal to current time is time minus two minutes so i can keep it here five minutes based on the uh, you know based on the use case i can put here three minutes or one minute let me put it here one minute for now not one minute let me put five minutes five minutes here and if i click uh, you know if i just run it you will see the status will be five minutes what will be the status just think about it it's okay okay now if i put here one then what will happen no insert because in uh, like in one minute there is no new insert happened right but five minutes may there is some insert happened if i'm not wrong right correct so that's what we can change here the uh, this condition based on the need and uh, once it is done then we have to save it save this query so i can save here only and i can give the name youtube alert done now what i will do i will go to here alerts and before going to that i would like to introduce my courses uh, 
okay so this is my website uh, geekcoders.co.in here you can see there are a couple of courses i have uh, i have already created and you can see these all the courses are live complete gen ai engin uh, engineering training build ai application using databricks data warehouse and data modeling course then we have 50 python interview question PySpark question databricks course we have fabric course power bi course like we have couple of courses available over here ADF course also here, Python course also here, you know, some free courses also available over here. So, depends on your need, you can actually come and enroll into it. Right? And with with I have, I mean, with that, we are having some packages. What does it mean? A, a, like a, like it's a combination of multiple courses, right? You can see this Azure Data Engineering full course here. You can, you can have 13 courses. In this course, you have four courses. You can have here also four courses and you can have here two courses right so based on the need you can actually enroll into it let's go back to the course uh, go to the video so this is the uh, alerts you know the query we have saved now if i come over here in the queries you can see this is coming this is showing here right now what i'll do i'll go to alerts click here create alert yt alerts query i have to choose it then once it is done it will ask me see value column is status first row what I have to do, I have to choose here equal to. Equal to is when it is no insert. When it is no insert, okay, then I have to trigger it. When query result has no rows, no query has no rows, set state to triggered, right? And just once, no. Each time alert is evaluated okay send notification correct and use the default one or custom template like if you want to change the change here the message then you can use the custom template or else you can choose the default one right first of all no. now i create a alert over here okay now there is an option called add scheduled right so when when i have to do i have to do past hours every minute every five minutes okay I can choose this email ID for now. Okay. And dun dun dun. Okay. Let me refresh it. The status is okay here. Correct. And um, I mean, I can't see the message. Okay. Now, if I go to here query history, you will see here that that query got triggered. See, Now what I will do, I if I go back to here the notebook, and if I try to run the data again. Okay, and if I go to alerts. last triggered one minute ago so we have to wait 
and here if I go to query history again and refresh it ok we do not see the output here ok no problem I will go to alerts again So, this is how it will run and you know send us the mail ok. I hope that you understood it and if you do like please subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah wait for the new videos. Thank you. Bye bye.